What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jet and I am back in the mix. So I did do a warm-up round before I started recording and I was gonna go back in and record on I don't forgot the name of the map. But anyways, as you can clearly see, Sagebrook is back and i was looking through my videos and y'all really did enjoy my first impressions video on this map and as much as i don't like this map because it is full of ambush spots as one viewer put it i'm gonna go back in there so let me go ahead and show y'all this my only source of happiness before i go out into the forest that is sagebrook my boxes of plants Ignore that one. My boxes of plants are actually, um, you know, looking pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty official. So, yeah, I just want to show y'all that. My wood logs ain't done yet. My plants are done. Well, herbs ain't done yet either. So, yeah. Sagebrook. Basically a logging camp. And also a spot for campers. People, you better be glad I read my comment section because I would not be doing this video if I didn't look at that my first impressions video on this map and see that it got overwhelmingly positive feedback so you know how we do this let's go ahead and analyze the lobby we got me in an ADR 97 obviously H bar T Sumi an M16 actually that's probably good for this map an A1 that's probably good for this map too an AKM and an AK74 and that guy brought nothing you know what? That's a sign. The next time I go onto this map, y'all, I'm bringing nothing. I only bring out the ADR when I am truly going into the ether. I say ether. Going into the unknown. Because the ADR 97 P90 has a special place in my heart. Because this was the golden gun before other golden guns came into the game. I only bring this out whenever I'm truly scared. And right now, I'm truly scared. You see, right now, I'll be like, okay, you avoid here, you avoid here, you avoid here. Somebody spots, somebody spawns here. I don't know that. I don't know. So, I'm going to take this baby steps at a time. And I thought I'd seen a little bit just now. I'm going to take this baby steps at a time and just discover some of these landmarks and as far as actually going to the logging camp itself i'm gonna try to make it over there but if i get the feeling or gunshots that it's not safe i don't know y'all so as one viewer put it they love this map because there are plenty of ambush spots when i read that comment i'm just like is is this for Jell and Clanton except foresty and small? Because it's carrying that energy right now in the back of my head. This map is terrifyingly small. At least on my upon my first impression. Because look, I can already see the hot spot on the map right there. Those two smokestacks, yeah, to my to the right of your screen. That's the logging camp. We spawned at the top of the map. So, if I can see it, then that means somebody's probably already there. Because there is... Called it. I freaking called it. Freaking called it. You see that, y'all? This is why I'm afraid of this map. Because I don't know where anything is. I don't know where anybody spawns. And I get, you know, it comes with experience. I get that. And that's a comm station. I get that. But, you know, when I first started playing this game, I didn't know anywhere on the map. But at least, I kept playing those same maps and got the same feeling of, yo, they're relighting each other up. I kept getting the same feeling of, I'm in danger. But here... I'm really in danger. 
Because with all the other maps, I got killed repeatedly coming up as a little bigger movie. And I slowly started to learn where everybody spawned at, where everybody gets killed at, and where everybody leaves at. Here, I don't have that experience just yet. So, yes, I am terrified of this map. I'm terrified of going up here to this comm station. Because do you see the amount of trees that are around here? I'm, it, it doesn't even matter. It does not even matter that it's sunny. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, cool. And loot this. Okay, let's go. Jump down. Boom. Okay, so I didn't get ambushed. Plus... And I don't really use this consumable, so I'm going to go ahead and destroy that. See, now if I was really confident in myself, which I'm not right now, I would have picked a little spot to stay in, and I would have waited for the airdrop. Because I actually put blessings on it, and not a curse on it. You know? But I'm not that comfortable with this map just yet. See, on every map, there are certain spots in the airdrop area that people like to camp in, right? For example, on Fajella Clanton, if it's near the church, people will go prone on the hill leading up to the church. If the airdrop is on Fisky Fabric and it's near the rows of houses, people will camp in those houses. And heaven forbid, if it's on Grand Time Valley, and the airdrop is in the river, people will camp on both sides of the river. And this is a very odd spot to have a weapons container. Okay. Um, but with this map, I just don't know, y'all. I just don't know. And yes, I am actually a male ballerina. Check me out. Yes, sir. So... I mean, like, look at this, y'all. I mean, it doesn't even matter that it's sunny. Do you see the amount of trees there are? Normally, I would not be afraid of nature. I love nature. I love seeing a sunrise. I love hearing a thunderstorm. But look at this. Look, look, look at this, y'all. There are trees everywhere. Anybody can be hiding behind one of these bad boys. And I'm actually terrified going through here. Okay, cool. Forest nursery. So these are baby trees? What is a baby tree? A treelet? Ha ha, treelet, ha. Okay, so that's a person. And I'm turning my butt right back around. That was definitely a person. And they were heading away from me. So away from me is pretty much over here. So my best guess is this. He just got finished looting everything along that railroad track and there's nothing there but I'm gonna need to discover these places so I can memorize this map so we're gonna go over there we're going to go over there and see if anything is left I highly doubt it though because that guy wasn't crouch walking he was walking so he probably is trying to get the heck out of Dodge this is actually really nice. This is actually really nice. I would not mind living here. I mean, if the world wasn't, you know, post-war and radiation every 10 minutes. But yeah, I would actually live here. This is actually a really pretty map. It's just scary as heck. Okay, this map is like that one girl that is beautiful, but she has a crazy personality. That's what this map is. Um, moving on swiftly here, I'm going to actually miss the freaking landmark, so backtrack a little bit, and turns out the landmark is right here. Look at those two containers. Open. Yep, so that guy just cleared this out. So my next plan of action, I don't know what that lot exit is. So we're going to go over there, we're going to investigate what that lot, what that locked exit is. And I keep finding all these weapon containers, but no weapon. You know, what's with that? Oh, there's a boat. That's a boat. So, if I had to guess, that boat is the main vehicle for the exit. 
okay, so new plan of action. We're going to turn around and say forget that boat because we are going to take the furthest exit on this map. Now I could backtrack and take the exit that was behind me when I spawned, but the airdrop is up there. And I have no idea who all is left on this map. But things have quiet down, quieted down quite a bit. So I'm going to infer that there's possibly two people here, not including myself. The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. So the airdrop is about to drop and I'm nowhere near it. People, I'm not going to lie to you. If I was actually closer to the airdrop, I might make a run for it. But I just don't know. I don't know the spots on this map. I don't know I don't know how combat intensive this map is yet. I don't know if people like the camera exits on this map or not. I don't even know which exit is the most used exit on this map. Maybe y'all can let me know some stuff in the comment section down below because I'm basically blind as a bat here. And you know, on all my previous videos, I'm very command commandive, if that's a word. Assertive. There you go. I'm very assertive. Like I know where stuff is gonna happen at because of experience. I don't have that ex that same experience here. Look at that, a buried cache. Let's hope something's in here. And nothing. Yep, nothing. Figured as much. So should I loot these cars? I'm gonna loot these cars and see what happens. Nope. Knife part. Trash. Let's see. Oh, alarm. Time to run. Time to run. Hopefully nobody heard me. I oh, I hope nobody heard me. Okay. So... If I'd have kept running, I would have been at the exit. It's right there. That's crazy. So the guy who was running through here, he didn't hit that car. Because if he did, I would have known that he was down here. Because car alarm. But he didn't hit it. Okay. There's the airdrop. And nobody got it yet. So I'm probably the last person alive here. But I do have an ADR on my back. So I'm not trying to lose it either. Here looks like some shelters. And I just want to discover it. I'm not going to go inside. I'm trying to get out of here before the radiation even hits. And you can tell that this is one of the, one of the new age maps because houses talk. What do they say? I have no idea. They just creak and moan. That's very spooky. So, wow, that train car looks very ominous. I hope that guy isn't in there because if he's in there, I'm a dead man. Okay, he can't be in there because it's already counting down. Which means I'm okay. Guys, this map is Ambush City. Like, I can't even describe it to you. This map is very intimidating. Very, very intimidating. But I do this for y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video, folks. Um, I'm going to try to keep this pace of gameplay smooth and steady unless provoked kind of like a squirrel hope you enjoyed the video and you know leave a like if you did and i will catch you in the next episode peace